Alright guys, welcome to another Paint the Moon Vaporizer review. Today we're going to be checking out the PAX 2 by the newly named PAX Vapors. Let's get into it. So when you get your PAX 2, it's going to come in a box like this, I got the red, it'll have whatever color it is on there. You'll pull it out like that, and you're going to want to keep that cover. But then you can kind of see the color through the little X, open it up, that's what it looks like inside. There's your vaporizer, we'll get into that in a sec. Now this is your charging dock, and this is your cleaning kit. Something that kind of annoyed me when I first got the unit. It's supposed to have two mouthpieces. I didn't know where the second mouthpiece was. I couldn't figure it out. I opened up the cleaning kit. I was like, oh, there's some rubbing alcohol. There's some uh, pipe cleaners. Well, if you open it all the way up, you'll see this little baggy thing almost in here. You pull that out. That's your second mouthpiece. They don't tell you that. There's really no instructions with this, and there's really no instructions on the website as to like where stuff is and stuff like that. Um, but it comes with a bottle of isotropal rubbing alcohol and a bunch of pipe cleaners for cleaning it and that's really nice they give you everything you need to clean it like right in the kit um, here's the charging dock right here what you do is you'll take it out you plug the plug that it comes with into this little port right here um, and that plugs in and then you plug that into any USB port and that's how it charges um, and you take the packs and you'll see it has these two little dots on here which correspond to these two dots and they line up magnetically and that's how it charges um, when it's charging, these lights, depending on what you have, either one light will be out or two or three. Um, and once all of these lights are lit up solid, it's done charging, from what I've ascertained from it. There's li literally, they don't include like charging instructions or anything like that in the kit. Now, they do include some instructions. You, you can't see it on this camera, um, but on this box, it's kind of engraved really, really lightly. Um, you flip it over, there's your magnetic lid on the bottom, you fill the magnetic lid up, then it says to turn on, but it says you push this thing and you don't. You push basically just the very top of the mouthpiece. You'll take it and you'll just push it, and that will turn it on. That's a majority of the instructions. It does, this thing comes apart, like so. Got a little bit of instruction, it just kind of tells you what the parts are over here. And then it tells you basically to power on and off the mouthpiece and LED lights will like it just says that the LED lights will lead the way. Um, that's kind of vague. And then charging it just says two hours. It makes a happy packs. I don't really that's not very descriptive. And then it does say to firmly pack the oven, which is good because this is a conduction vaporizer. So they do tell you how to pack it. Um, and then the warranty information is at paxvapors.com or paxvapor.com. So. That's that. Let's see into the unit itself. Here's the packs. Uh, this is their flare color, I think. They also have a, like a black and a silver and like an aqua color. The oven's pretty big. They increased the oven 20% from the old unit, which is nice. It's pretty deep. They also seem to be using a different type of plastic for inside this chamber in here that seems to be less resistant to um, like resin buildup, which I really like. I actually have my original packs here, to com just to compare. Here's the packs two, and here's the packs side by side. It's a little bit taller, slightly wider, and the oven is also a little bit smaller. It, the oven is wider, but not as deep in the packs two. Something that I thought was really interesting is that um, the box for the packs is actually also like 25% smaller than the original box for the packs. But um, anyways, uh, let's get into the features of the device. So, so you take your little oven lid off, you just push it on one side and it'll just pop right out. It's magnetic so you don't have to worry. And you just load up this chamber with your herbs of choice. Basically you just dump it in there and then pack it down. Um, the original packs had a kind of, basically users came up with a way of packing it called the stream trick. And I really like that trick. It worked really well with my old packs. So what you do, take a three quarter inch pipe screen, fold it up like a taco, and then you just kind of take it and you just press it in the oven after you load it. And it, when you do that, 
it just does a really good job of packing it really closely on the sides and it vapes a lot better I find if you do that so I have this all loaded up now so you just take your oven lid pop it back on there I'll show you the other it has two mouthpieces um, and the mouthpiece is how you turn the unit on what you do is you just press the center and that's what turns it on and then holding it down is how you change the temperatures but it has two mouthpieces one is slightly raised and one is flat on this one you can inhale in either the back or the front just depending on how you place the unit in there it is kind of annoying getting these mouthpieces on and off, I'm not going to lie. Um, but here's the mouthpiece. It's pretty flat. Uh, as you can see on here, maybe you can't see. Yeah, let me get a light. So, as you can see, it has like that circle in the middle and those two kind of grooves. And those grooves, basically depending on which side you place it, um, which way you face this little opening, it'll line up with that hole in there. Um, and that's where your vapor comes in. And on this one, I've been mainly using this one. And the vapor, you can actually see this, like the side that I've had it on the same side the whole time, and it's actually building up a little bit of resin. So that's interesting. Um, this mouthpiece, kind of a lot like the old mouthpiece of uh, the original one. Here's the original mouthpiece. Here's the PAX 2 with the raised mouthpiece. It's pretty short in comparison to the two, um, probably about half the height. But I don't know, it's nice. I, I actually kind of like this one more. I didn't even know I had this one until I started digging around the box some more. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I found it because I prefer the raised over this one because with this one you kind of, you hold it like this when you're inhaling off of it. And with this one you get to just do it like the old packs and do it that way. Um, it still works the same. You just click the middle. Bam. Now it's heating up. Uh, and then you hold it down. Kind of harder with this mouthpiece. But I guess you guys can't really see that light. But it's red. It has all four illuminated. You'll click it. And it actually goes down to just that light. My camera's just picking up everything. But it goes down to that light, and then you click again, and then it's two. Click it again, three, and again, four. Um, four is the highest setting. They don't include in it what the temperature settings are. And we post it in the written review, which will be in the description. Um, we'll just put a link in there. But I'm going to start off on the lowest setting. You just hold it down, and it starts heating. Um, it doesn't take too long to heat, just a couple minutes. It's pretty quick. And basically, it'll be purple. And then once it turns green, it's ready to vape. And going between the temperatures is a really short amount of time. Um, I think this heats up faster than the original packs. I feel like part of that's just because I've had it so long, and it kind of just is worn down simply from use. I've had it. I've had it over a year and a half at this point, so I've used it quite a bit. Unfortunately, you can't see the light on here, but it has turned green, and it kind of just glows green. But when you hit it, the light actually like kind of like waves almost. It's decent flavor, at least on the first temperature setting. Not sure what it is, once again, it'll be in the written review. Um, it's pretty low. I like how they have four settings in this one instead of just three. And I really, really like how you don't have to take the mouthpiece off to change the temperature every time. But it is nice as you can just kind of push it and it's easier. And the mouthpieces are silicone now, or some kind of silicone-like material. But it's it helps with heat a lot more, because um, the other mouthpiece would get really, really hot, especially on the high setting, and this one doesn't have that as much. As you can see, you get really good vapor off it. Especially, like, once it gets to temperature, if you let it wait a little bit, you get a really big cloud in your first draw. Alright, so we're going to bump it up to the second heat setting. Heating up. Um, the unit does get really hot, um, especially if you do a full session on all four settings, um, which lasts, it's a pretty long session, like, it's about 10 to 12 minutes usually. Uh, but it's already a temperature. It, got, it gets there really fast. It only takes like less than 30 seconds between temperatures. Probably more like 15 seconds, but... And it's really good with this to have like long, slow draws instead of like hitting it really hard like you were hitting a pipe or something like that. Um, but long, slow draws is really the preferred way. So we're going to bump it up again. Basically, if you, the longer you leave it on a temperature, the vapor will go up and then it'll eventually like, kind of drop down. Um, you'll, you're noticing that like the first hit, it's like, oh, it's big, and then like second hit, it's not. 
Um, but that's just because I'm actually inhaling a little bit less on the second one. Uh, what I really like about this is there's a lot less cleaning involved than with the original. The battery life is better, and I think it heats up faster. It's also a little bit smaller. Mouthpieces don't get as hot either. I really, the second and third are probably my preferred heat settings. I usually start on one for the first hit or two, then I bump it up. Um, the highest setting, which we're about to go to right now, not my favorite setting. It gets a little warm. The body gets pretty warm. It has its place, you know, like say you have some like a small amount of concentrate or something like that that you want to add to your bowl. Um, you could put a layer of your herbs and then put your concentrate and then a layer of herbs again and then put the strain on top and it would be able to vape it on this higher temperature. Which in the original box was 410, I'm thinking it's around there or slightly hotter. The flavor is pretty low um, on the highest setting, but you get more clouds. So if you're like coming from combustion and you want something more similar to it, the high setting is going to be really similar to that. It's going to give you a similar effect. It's going to give you a similar amount of smoke or vapor. It doesn't burn the herbs at all. Um, overall, it's a really good vape. You just click it, turn it off, done. It really does only take about two hours at most to charge, and the battery life's really good. I I just did to see kind of like where it was at. You can actually tell what temperature or what the battery charge is by shaking it. The light will illuminate as many as it is. And this one's illuminating all four, meaning that's fully charged. After three sessions of using it all the way up to the highest setting for 10 to 12 minutes, it had only gone down one bar. So it does have improved battery life and it's really good. You'd probably get a, a, at least equal amount of vape time for charging it as you would using it. Sometimes more depending on how you vape. So yeah, PAX2, definitely a high quality vaporizer from a company that has amazing support. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about Plume support. I personally haven't used them, but I've talked to them a few times. They're really knowledgeable. They're really helpful. So if you have any issues with your PAX, just talk to them. They'll get it all sorted out for you. So, and always make sure to buy from a reputable source because there's fake PAXs everywhere. Only buy from places that are listed on Plume's website, or I guess not Plume anymore, PAX Vapors, but that are listed by them as like authorized dealers. Just a warning. <laughs> Some people have gotten fake PAXs, it hasn't gone well for them, and end up dropping like 250 bucks on something that was fake and didn't work like it was supposed to. So keep that in mind. This has been another Panther Moon Vaporizer review. As always, in our description, there's links to our Facebook and Twitter pages, as well as our website. We're on Reddit and FC under the username Paint the Moon. Uh, finally got FC worked out once again. Really happy about that. Thank you, FC. Um, and yeah, thanks for stopping by.